This is a lead cube that came into me for repair earlier this week. What I've had to do here is replace both the driver ICs, which you can see just down there, uh, as they've both been blown on some of the outputs so that lead's in the cube permanently on. Now this board has got a PIC programmed up with a new version of firmware which has some diagnostic code on it. I'm going to be shipping this out from the 1st of October 2010, so any kits, chips you buy from the PIC Project's website will have that code on it. Um, also the code will be available for download from the website if you've got an existing chip you want to program it up yourself. Um, it doesn't do anything else um, function on the cube when it's running, it's purely a diagnostic mode if you've got a problem and, and you want to get it working. So <clears throat> what it does is it basically generates the signals very very slowly so that the lead steps through the cube one lead at a time, one layer at a time and the signals are slow enough for you to be able to put a little test lead like I've rigged up here um, with a small wire, probe around the board, make sure the signals are present and they're turning on and off. So what I'll do, I'll turn it on, you'll see that the lead in the far corner, lead 25, comes on and it will work its way through the cube to lead 1, step up to the next layer, keep going like that. When it gets to the top layer, lead 1, it will then restart, lead 25, bottom layer, just keeps clocking around like that. And these signals are generated really slowly. Um, so unlike a very high speed multiplex display where you, you really, without an oscilloscope, you can't see what's going on. With this, you'll see as I put the wire on the signal here, you can see it um, going high and low as the lead moves. We've got the latch signal as well. And you can see that. Obviously, that's the output signal on the pick, so we know the signal there is good. Um, if you're really careful and you flip the board over, I'm not going to actually show you this, but obviously you can also probe around the back side of the board onto the two driver ICs, check out if the signal's present there. Obviously you need to do that very carefully. I'm not going to try and do that in front of the camera, but it can be done. That will tell you then that the signals are there, you haven't got broken tracks or, or any issues like that. And you see got to the top of the cube and drops back down to the bottom it will just keep running like that um, and essentially um, this will be documented on the website but there's just a small link that you put in here if it sees the link when the board powers up it will go into the diagnostic mode if that links not there it will just run as normal so that's it